Saturday too, playing versus Kaye. And if I remember correctly, they're Cloud main, not a Captain Falcon main. I, I was a little bit confused. Yeah, now I'm correct. I stand corrected. And now we're gonna see that Cloud do some work and try to take on Nerds uh, Ridley. Now, my dear Fair, take it from here and show us how it's done. It's going to be a match for the ages because we are now we're seeing the return of the Nerds Ridley, which he uses in certain uh, scenarios and certain people. We can see right now that he's utilizing and right now Garo going hard on it, making the percentage lead almost none on both players right now. We can see that Nair is trying to take him off stage. That limit is charged. Watch out because Garo is now dangerous. He's armed and powerful right now. Let's see if a grab connects from Nair's side, taking it off stage, using that neutral beat to save himself from uh uh, something in the ledge, but it won't connect. Right side, we see the side B looking for that back here. Clearly connects, and now this could be big, excellent tech from Nair, but it won't be enough. Won't be bo avoiding that up smash and takes the first stock. Yeah, just going on strong. What a strong start for Garo. They're not on scratch, but still, just going with a nice lead. Oh, <laughs> just waiting there. They're just waiting there to Garo to make a move, and now finally. The limit break is gonna do Garo a big favor to for the comeback into the stage, but sadly, Nair also knows his dash attacks and now his timing, and that's how he gets the first stock now. And look at this, just going for all those follow ups, making sure the chase is perfect. Again, another dash attack in the down tilt, oh my god, he always ready to get those hits that doesn't look like I'm gonna reach, but still, really just enables Nair so well, and now he trying to get the second stock it was a little bit of a shaky start but el nino is now taking the lead right now we're seeing that garo is looking Ooh. off stage to finish things up but the heavyweight of friendly is not going to be enough utilizing that up, up b to get out and just smash out of his way garo was off stage situation trying to get it with the spike of the up b won't connect right now this is getting really really tense we can see right now that uh, it's having a little bit of difficulty, oh. but they're definitely not taking that. That's uh, almost last talk with that uh, backer and just continuing the massacre in this Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, my, and, and uh, he never just finds those backers, those clean touches. He just kind of get him, get him after a while. He looks for them, but now Garo finding his own backer to finish the near second stock. And now we are going even Steven trying to go. Oh, what a bait on that dash attack going for the pressure on the shield. Still not that much. Okay, we're gonna get a hit, but not a conversion fair. Just Garo trying to go for the straight hits, but no, you have to go for for the reliable combos. Just the way Nair is doing it. Oh, that's gonna be a yeah, yeah, Garo yeah. knew it. No, yeah. no jump, no B, and just a terrible edge guard for him. That was not quite a bad situation to be in. It was quite the predicament. Honestly, the only thing, option that he had was honestly just do what he did and just uh, finish off what Nair started and side uh, SD of this stage. He had no jump, he had no air dodge, he, he had no up B charge, no limit, no nothing, and it was no other option, honestly. Yeah, that was a toughie, but oh, okay, we saw Garot doing an amazing job the first stock. We, I'm sure we can see him. I just think the late part of the game, just Nair was finding those follow-ups, those uh, like those uh, hits after dash attack and with down tilt and everything. I think Garot has to uh, work a little bit on that SDI to after being hit to avoid those combos. But for now, Nair just finds all these affairs, all these Nairs into something else. And Garou having a lot of problem with it. Okay, we're gonna go with a double cross slash evening thing style, but still, not too much to say about. We're gonna go into a tough situation again. We're gonna go straight for the edge guard. Just Garou going just all of, with the guns, shooting everything in his side with the limit healing hazard. But watch out, just trying to go there. Nair also just trying to go for a smash or a read there, but not yet. Going for the deep, deep edge guard. And yeah, that's gonna be the stuck. That's gonna be the stuck. There's nothing else you can do as a cop main where you run out of options that other than just jump out into the straight blast zone. And we can see right now that 105% is quite the percentage uh, on Ridley, but it won't be quite enough. He's starting to gain some rage from it. So that means that he can, uh, never could utilize it. And we are seeing right now that he's trying to get as much damage on Garo as he can. 
and clearly it's paying off. What happened on that thing just didn't like connect properly. But Hopefully. right now we're seeing that uh, Garo goes for the safest place to get that side B and Garden only 65% could be a, a, a good lead. I don't know, but Nair right now with the up smash, not quite gonna make it. Just barely, Garo survives that up smash and just. But, I mean that that situation in the in the platform is a little bit tricky because just that of reaches so so long, it's so high, it reaches so far high, and also it's, it, I think it covers all the all the all the platforms. So yeah, God, I didn't have any other option. Now we have a limit. We can we can start working. We did a straight hit and we just convert it. Oh, okay, so vibes going for the edge guard, not yet, but now we don't have any limit left to play with. Now we're gonna have to get this clean hit, but we're gonna get the side B. The space pirate rush makes the work, and now the captain is on deck. He is playing and he's commanding this lead. Yep, right now we need to see that Garo gets the the last, uh, well, not the last, but rather this stock out of of Nair's hands because we can see how slowly but steadily. Yeah, Nair is starting to rack up percentage against Gato and we know that when you're on a stock disadvantage, it ain't good. You need to get rid Ooh. like that with that limit break. That <clears throat> get rid of that stock as quickly as possible. And Gato right now is starting to make use of all the combos on low percentage, but clearly Nair is not going to leave him a chance. Oh, this is a tough situation. We have the limit. Not Almost. anymore. No, just so close yet so far. Fair. And Ingasu just calling out the comeback, but sadly we don't get to see that. Ingaro just so close yet so far. He's right. You can see the stress. The just the, the pain, the stress, everything that he needed to get that limit charged up, but sadly up to the last second wasn't enough. There was no jump. Nothing left. You, he just had to believe. He believed, but sadly, in the end, it wasn't enough to cover the distance he lacked to get to the ledge. Yeah, just the moment when you just go oh, oh, the one hell, one last hell mary with that limit charge and see what happens. But I think if he got a little bit earlier, he was he will have been able to drift into a ledge. But sadly, Carol doesn't get it. And look at this edge guard. Just okay, you know, we're done. See you later. Yep, you can clearly see that he was struggling quite a bit, especially upstage. That's where clouds doesn't shine that much. It's clearly upstage because once you get rid of your of their jump ability, and I don't know, clearly maybe the 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 limit break, they are completely lost. We can see right here he's going upstage to get that kill guaranteed. And honestly, Garo did a really really nice job, but in the end he got uh. How can I say? He was played by the unability of Cloud of playing in offstage situations. I think Aroku have played a little bit better, just trying to go for better ledge traps instead of going for some risky edge guards. I mean, I we saw the the limit uh, cross slash to get hit to get a stock in the second game, but still, I think he could have worked a little bit that uh, ledge trapping game to to make sure that Nair doesn't have a any comfortable return into the stage or at least from the the ledge because every time Nair came out of the ledge, I think Garo just was a little bit just the situation turned in his in, in Nair's favor. So I, I don't know. Just I just think that Garo need to do a little bit more of ledge trapping and then going for the edge guards when he needs them. Yep, we can see it right now, leaving that.